And I'm going to say wholesale, connect, here's the key, and boom, here I am. It says I'm connected to this key, and so I need this URL, and boom, there you have it. This is AI from my Linux machine running on my MacBook that I can use at a coffee shop, I can use on the go, I booted this up at an airport, I can connect to it from anywhere, and that's how easy it is. All right, so the critical piece of this puzzle is wholesale, which allows you to connect to any service you have running on one of your machines, peer-to-peer, -peer, over the internet, just like file sharing. This is all possible with the tech at pairs.com. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely do. Link will be in the show notes. The next thing we need is some fun AI tool. We're going to use Automatic 11.11, and this will be run inside of Pinocchio, and that's basically it. But since I'm starting with a fresh install of Pop OS here, I will have to install NPM, the Node Package Manager, and then update Node.js, which is actually a common problem a lot of people have with wholesale because for some reason Node constantly installs version 12 and it's on like version 22. So let's jump into it. Let's do this in fast mode. All right, boys, let's do this. Sudo apt install NPM. Type in your password. Blip, blip, blip. Yes. Blip, blip, blip. Do, 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 do. And we're done. Now we install wholesale with NPM I wholesale dash G. Wait, errors? Oh, wait. Pseudo NPM I wholesale dash G. Why the hell can't I read any of this? Okay, that's better. Wholesale dash dash help. Unexpected token? Oh wait, that's right, this is the node thing. Node-V, we're running a version that's 80 years old. So now we need NVM, and we're gonna use curl dash nvm dash bash bash It would probably behoove you to copy-paste. All of these commands are right down in the description if you hadn't noticed. But see here when I do this, it says it's already installed because I already did this. And now we're just going to do nvm install node and see, we're going to install 22.3.0, which is not 80 years old. And now we do wholesale dash dash help, and here are the instructions for wholesale. Now, for our AI, we're going to be using Automatic 11.11, which is a really fun image and even video generator, lots of plugins, super popular. And we're using this inside of Pinocchio, which lets you run all sorts of AI stuff. But honestly, this whole thing is really straightforward, so you just follow the instructions on their page, and I'll show you the one little thing you have to do on Linux. So click on Downloads, go past Windows and Macintosh, and then there's Linux, go to the Release page, click, and I like to do the app image because it's just easy. Click, Download, jump right over to it in the Downloads folder, we're going to open up another terminal window, and we're going to go Chmod, plus X, which is adding execute permissions. You might need to do sudo. Then just drag and drop into the terminal and the file path will be there. Hit enter. And now you can just double click or right click and run this application. Now you won't have anything, so you'll have to go to the discover page. There are tons of AI tools, image generators, chatbots, face swappers, you name it. And I just know you would never use any of this for unethical reasons or for offensive memes. But we're looking for Automatic 11.11 or Stable Diffusion Web UI. So find it, click, download, then go to it and hit install. It'll take a while, but the whole point of Pinocchio is to just have a built-in script so it just runs. Just let it run. It has to download the whole Stable Diffusion model which is like a few gigabytes. But after it installs, you click on Start in the sidebar, and it will bring up a terminal, and then you will see the local host URL this is running on. The 127.0.0.1 is literally just the address to your computer when you're in your computer. So you see, I click on it, and it goes to the web UI. This is automatic 11.11. 11. 
Now, all we need here for wholesale is this port number, 7860. And so in the terminal, we hit wholesale dash dash live and punch in that port number. Now, we also want to use a connector. This is like a secret key. If you do this without one, it's basically public, like a website, which is kind of cool because you can give it to somebody else. But in our case, we just want an encrypted private tunnel. And so we type dash dash connector and a whole bunch of random crap so that it's secure. Hit enter and boom, it gives us a QR code for mobile, which mobile is actually gonna have a built-in browser, which is really cool, but what we need right now is this connector. And we need to get it to the remote machine. I'm using Keet because it's encrypted and peer-to-peer, -peer, but you can use Signal, email, whatever you want. Just remember the connector is a secret password. Be careful with it. And now we're on my Mac, I type wholesale, just paste the key, and this is unnecessary, but I like to do dash dash port 7860 so that it's the same on both machines. But then you just copy the URL, paste it into a browser, and this is running off my Linux machine. This is AI from my Linux machine running on my MacBook that I can use at a coffee shop. I can use on the go, I booted this up at an airport. I can connect to it from anywhere and that's how easy it is. And this is even without the user interface, which Wholesale is gonna have a desktop app and a, uh, a mobile app very soon. So you'll be able to do this from your phone, Android, iOS, you name it. And so we are going to be self-hosting all AI with Wholesale Ocean Sailboat Beautiful scenery, sunset. We do 40 and we'll leave that like that and we're gonna generate. And this, this is much, much faster simply because it is running on my Linux machine. My Mac right now is doing no processing. And there we go. That's AI over wholesale. Now, if you want to know more about wholesale, the tool or the pair stack in general, and why I think this is a phenomenal technology that we should be using for everything, uh, you can check out my show, The Pair Report. Episode two in particular is with the dev who built wholesale. And there will be links right down in the description of the show so you can check it out. And don't forget to subscribe because we are going to have tons of these little tricks on self-hosting, running your own, uh, uh, your own AI tools, your own uh, LLMs, and then connecting securely from anywhere easily and quickly. That is what this show is about. That's what this channel is about. So stay tuned. More to come.